Welcome back to our channel, Exposing the Great Australian Government. Only persons authorised to deal with Queensland Government land, 15B. Only the Minister or a person authorised by the Minister may deal with land held under the name Queensland Government. You've got the traitor on the left hand side again, in front of a treasonous flag. You've got the treasonous seal here. Under this treasonous parliament, government that owns and controls all lands, uses their private courts, university professors of law, lawyers enforcing treason to ensure local government's control over treason political parties land. Police mercenaries as backup this this here this certificate of title is, is uh, at the top of uh, my certificate of title it is like it said up the top there only persons authorized by the minister and the Queensland government may deal in land so you've got their corporation seal Queensland government now if anybody in Queensland has got a certificate of title this will be the top of it it is total treason. It is, I can't get it any worse than treason, but it should be treason dozens of times over because it's a political coup against the whole of our Commonwealth of Australia, our states as established under our Commonwealth as original states under the, established at the Commonwealth. This, this is just, this is why we end up with councils as extortion rackets. We've always had councils, but like it says in, in, the, in the Council Act of 1993, local government as established under this Act. And it's copyrighted to this seal, and, and uh, that seal and it's copyrighted. It, it's just total treason, takeover of ex an extortion at its worst. Queensland Government is the corporation 15b only the minister or a person authorized by the minister may deal with land held under the name queensland government total treason all states created local government acts under the treasonous political party's definition of the status of their states being sovereign independent and federal nation in a geographical sense Local Government Act 1993, number 95, Tasmania. Local Government Act 1993, number 30, New South Wales. Local Government Act 1989, number 11, Victoria. Local Government Act 1995, number 74, Western Australia. Local Government Act 1999, number 62, South Australia. Local Government Act 1993, number 70, Queensland. The Local Government Act for um, Victoria, 1989, number 11 for Victoria. That, that's another little bit of a con job because Victoria joined the sovereign independent federal nation in 1975 and they made local governments under that and they were still purporting to use the raw coat of arms and that sort of and in the acting manner and form, purporting to be as if they were, uh, Victoria still was under the, the um, proper Victoria. But see, you, you've, Victoria has been under the treasonous, sovereign, independent federal nations in a geographical sense since 1975. The above six acts are political party corporation extortion rackets. Treasonous public seal of the state. This is a this is the fraudulent copy of the seal of Queensland, seal of the state, trading as purported Queensland Parliament, Queensland Government, Queensland Court, Queensland Police, mercenaries, political parties, treasonous republic. Local Government Act, nineteen ninety three, number seventy for treasonous political parties Queensland as a sovereign, independent and federal nation in a geographical sense, assented to on the 7th of December 1993. 
the Parliament of Queensland enacts. This enactment, this Parliament of Queensland enacts, is just total crap. Is Remember, in, in the enacting manner and form, they removed the Queen and the uh, word Commonwealth? Well, they've done the same thing here. They removed the enacting manner and form for what Queensland's supposed to have. This is just another way of telling you they're not within our Commonwealth Australia Constitution Act 1901 as proclaimed and gazetted, or the Queensland's Constitution Act 9, uh, 1867. So it's not Crown enacting manner and form? and it has no royal assent. So part three, interpretation, definitions. Four, in this act, local government means a local government established under this act. This purported act starts on the 7th of December, 1993. You've got to realize that the word established means it starts from now. It wasn't, like people say, but we've always had a local government. We have always had a council, and the council used to be not a problem. They used to look after the roads and look after the parks and mow the lawns and all that sort of thing. But they were, it was a small unit. Since they've turned around and created these local government acts, they've built dirty big buildings, employ mobs of people shuffling paper all around the place and enforcing treason. So it copyrighted the state of Queensland, 1993. We the people, as established under our primary law, Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901, as proclaimed and gazetted, residing within our state of Queensland, as an original states, shall mean such states as are parts of the Commonwealth at its establishment. We are not between the fraudulent company seal and the copyright. Religious leaders have sold their souls to the treasonous political parties to take away our land right ownership by removing the Church of England, Defender of the Faith. Queensland Ag Anglican Church of Australia Act, 1977. New South Wales Anglican Church of Australia Act, 1976, number 21. Victorian Anglican Church of Australia Constitution Act, 1977 number 8984 South Australia Anglican Church of Australia Constitution Act 1977 number 90 Tasmania Anglican Church of Australia Constitution Act 1977 number 90 Western Australia Anglican Church of Australia Act 1976 number 121 Australian Capital Territory Anglican Church of Australia Ordinance 1980 Northern Territory Anglican Church of Australia Ordinance 1978 Number 5 This here See our deed of grant our crown deed of grant was guaranteed by the Defender of the Faith which is the Church of England They changed all this and removed the Church of England all, all through all these acts it was all done behind our backs and it's a form so these political parties are you like I was in court when David Walters handed up Kath Burns deed of grant crown deed of grant and the judge said in, in court I cannot look at don't hand that up to me in this court I cannot look at it this is how corrupt we have become. These courts are not courts at all. They're just political party pieces of utter shit. They don't, they've actually stolen our whole lives. Everybody that's buying lives in a home, owns a home or thinks they own a home. We don't own anything. And these, church, these religious leaders have sold us all out as well as the political parties. Religious leaders have sold their souls to the treasonous political parties. Also helped remove common law of England, where under our primary law, Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901 as proclaimed and gazetted, we have every right known to man. Law and Justice Legislation Amendment Act 1988 Commonwealth Act number 120 
of 1988, which amended Section 80 of the Judiciary Act 1903 Commonwealth Act No. 6, Common Law to Govern, replacing Common Law of England with Common Law in Australia. The Christian religion is, in most English-speaking countries, recognised as a part of the common law. There is an abundant authority for saying that Christianity is a part and parcel of the law of the land. By the treasonous political parties changing common law of England to common law in their Australia, this is how the treasonous political parties changed our primary law, Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901 as proclaimed and gazetted via the back door which equals treason and there's their seal statute law miscellaneous provisions number 81 of 1997 scheduled one arms of the state the state which equals the executive government part one the heraldic description for arms Perfess the chief or the base per pale sable and gules. In chief a bull's head, kiboshed in profile, muzzled a merino ram's head, respecting each other proper. The dexter base charged with a garb also, or and the sinister base on a mount a pile of quartz. Issuant Therefrom a gold pyramid in front of the mount, a spade surmounted by a pick, saltire wise, all proper. And for the crest, on a wreath of the colours, a mount thereon, a Maltese cross, azure surmounted with a royal crown between two sugar canes, all proper. And for the supporters, on the dexter side a red deer, and on the sinister side a brolga, wings elevated and adorced both proper. Below a scroll, this motto, Udux at Fidilis. Part 2. Pictorial Description. Schedule 2. Badge of the State. Part 1. Heraldic Description. On a Randall Argent a Maltese cross, as you are surmounted with a royal crown. Part 2. Pictorial description. And so that's what they created mm. and copied it at the state of Queensland. Same with the last one. It's all, all, it's all done to there, bring it down. That way? Yeah. This, this seal that you're showing here, here, the pictorial description, that's on the top of the act as well as in the act right they, they've got it in the they've been using it since 1991 yep yep and they've just slowly sort of opened brought it, it up and brought it so you can see what it is and it's just a damn con job because in 1991 when they first brought it in on act 90 yeah they turn around and, and you can't recognize what the yep. hell it is yeah and when they took ownership of all the land in queensland it was even looking worse yeah yep and all they've done is is just slowly, slowly made it more visual for themselves for to himself, take over. It, it's a copyright of a public function reseal, which is a crime, which is a total crime. Yeah. But the thing is, a public function reseal is only used by a government. But if it was for ours, it would be government of Queensland yep, yep. or the health department, education department, those sort of things. Yep. It is not used for law, and it cannot be used by a governor representing the crown to create, to enact a bill from parliament to give it royal assent and create an act out of that bill. Right. So this is whole thing is, you, you've got to understand what the system is. They have just wiped the whole system and now this sits on the judges commissions, yep. the governor general's commission, the so courts, on everything. the police, the whole damn lot. Yep. And when I was in court with Colette, she showed them the seal and they, and they said, oh, that picture at the top. <laughs> they were just as dumb as dog shit. Unreal. Unreal. And see what we end up with here. 
from from that there to this from here. From that to there, yes. yes. And that's their parliament. So we are not between the fraudulent company seal and the copyright. All the political parties have done is create a fraudulent look-alike seal of our Queensland's public functionary seal for subordinate legislation and change the imperial crown to a royal crown that has no crown authority, therefore removes our Queensland's link to the British Empire, which equals treason. Right, crime for purporting these to be a crown seal. Criminal Code Act of 1899 with the, the real royal seal with the lion and the unicorn being enacted by the Queen's... Sorry. Sorry, no problem. But this enacting matter and form before, remember we looked at it and they just had found, uh, Queensland... And of the Queensland one, Government. And enact whatever it was, yep. yeah. This is a proper enacting matter and form of Crown Authority. Yep. So, be it enacted by the Queen's Most Excellent Majesty by and with the advice and consent of the Legislative Assembly of Queensland in Parliament assembled and by the authority of the same as follows. Punishment in special cases, public seals, etc. 1. If the thing forged, A. purports to be or is intended by the offender to be understood to be or to be used as the great seal of the United Kingdom or of Queensland or Her Majesty's privy seal or any privy signet of Her Majesty, Her Majesty's royal sign manual or the seal of the governor or any public seal lawfully appointed to be used for authenticating, authenticating an act of state in any part of Her Majesty's dominions or b is a document having on it or affixed to it any such seal, signet or sign manual or anything which purports to be or is intended by the offender to be understood to be any such seal, signet or sign manual. The offender is liable to imprisonment with hard labour for life. So, by these treasonous parliament, government, courts and lawyers, we went from this parliament of Queensland, by the people, for the people, with this traitor standing in front of its own flag that they created, to this Queensland parliament. It's all treason. We've got these six sitting here, all, all these sitting in treason with no crown authority. The above six so-called Queensland governors all sold their souls to the treasonous political parties, all appointed by public seal of the state. The state has taken ownership of the crown. Therefore, all six governors sit in treason. These treasonous governors have no crown and constitutional authority. Therefore, can't give royal assent to any act. All states are the same. That's why every state parliament tells us all acts from 1986 forward are only purported acts with purported enactments. Walter Campbell was the so-called governor of Queensland that sold his soul to the treasonous political parties and enacted their Australia Acts Request Act 1985 number 69 and purportedly gave it royal assent. So what do you gain by selling your soul? So, we the people of our Queensland, as established under our primary law, Commonwealth of Australia, Constitution Act 1901, as proclaimed and gazetted as an original state, political party treasonous courts will not recognise our lawful crown deeds of grant. This deeds of grant here... Um I've made it so we can read it because it's very hard to read the actual uh, writing when you have it on the deed of grant. So I've just blown it up and made it a bit bigger so and it's covering a few more lines. But this is this is what was basically handed up in court. But David Walters handed this up in court and the judge said don't hand that up to me in this court I cannot look at it. That just shows you how treasonous our courts are. 
So it reads, Elizabeth II, by the grace of God of the United Kingdom, Australia, and her other realms and territories, Queen, Head of the Commonwealth, Defender of the Faith, to all to inform these presents shall come, greeting. Just just uh, as a bit of a side issue here, where it says here, Elizabeth II, by the grace of God of the United Kingdom, and then they use the word Australia there, that is our Australia, but in the Royal Styles and Titles Act in 1953, they inserted this system so the deeds of grant could be recognised as, like if, if this deed of grant came out of New Zealand, it would have United Kingdom, New Zealand and her other realms and territories, or of Canada, and that was only to be used for that system. Some people think that this is the start of the Queen of Australia. It's got nothing to do with the political parties in 1973 creation of the Queen of Australia. So, deeds of grant can only be signed off by the state governor representing the Queen. All governors above sit in treason. Treason from within, Queen of Australia. We got that trollop again standing behind her flag or in front of her flag with the treasonous seal. Another seal here, Queen of Australia and their Supreme Court of Queensland. Then, the above six so-called so Queensland governors all sold their souls to the treasonous political parties, all appointed by public seal of the state. The state has taken ownership of the crown. Therefore, all six governors sit in treason. These treasonous governors have no crown and constitutional authority, therefore can't give royal assent to any act. All states are the same. That's why every state parliament tells us all acts from 1986 forward are only purported acts with purported enactments. Walter Campbell was the so-called governor of Queensland that sold his soul to the treasonous political parties and enacted their Australia Acts Request Act 1985, number 69, and purportedly gave it royal assent. Treasonous political party Queensland as a sovereign, independent and federal nation in a geographical sense, writing on paper. What do you gain by selling your soul? And here's that part again of 58, part 5, Powers of the Parliament, that's still there but they don't bring forward, they don't consolidate. No, it's, just, it's just, all they've done there is changed our Commonwealth Australia Constitution Act by not recognising it or not consolidating it forward. It's still sitting there, but it's, they, they're under the Queen of Australia. They're, they, they, they're not accountable for what they do. They, this whole system is where they can do what they want when they want. It's like Albanese Sleazy in the voice that was just total crap they were going to change our constitution what constitution no 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 they're not even under our commonwealth australia constitution act 1901 as proclaimed and gazetted they're a political party wake up the constitution commission 1988 proposed alteration to the constitution you need a referendum for the queen of australia all the above are thrown under the bus come on people 